Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today we're going to go on a full vanilla server and go from nothing to riches to raiding bases and we're going to do a ton of PvP. I hope you guys will enjoy this video. If you do, please drop a like. Let's try to reach 200 likes. You guys are absolutely destroying each like goal and I really appreciate it. Also, 70% of you guys watching this video right now are not yet subscribed, so I would really appreciate it if you hit that button and turn notifications on. And let's get straight into the video. Quickly before the video starts, I would like to say that I have played on the server a couple of days ago and there I have managed to find myself some items, including one Dragon Fang, Night Vision and a Zubeknakov. So that's why you guys will see me spawning inside the base with some loot. Alright, I'm in. And yeah, this is the same server that I have some stuff with, but looks like I got raided. I have a Dragon Fang, I have a Metal Box, Night Vision, there's a trio on the server. I did have this base some time ago, but the server is pretty much dead, so I left. But it looks like my base got raided. I could try to build a new base, or maybe just take this one over again. And there's a lot of bases as well. That base wasn't there the other day. Server's full vanilla, there's nothing else. No TPA, no home. Right, and the wall is done. Now we could put the blowtorch back inside this crate. It was very important. And now I'm just gonna go load. I'm gonna go load, maybe try to get myself into PvP. Maybe we'll find a three-man team. Or maybe we'll find ourselves a base to raid. Try to get as much XP as possible as well. Maybe we'll get ourselves some high kill for the dragon thing. Pretty much looted heritage. I didn't really get anything special. And I got myself a vest and a melee. That's pretty much it. Now I'm just gonna head over to military. Be over there. We'll get ourselves some military clothes. Oh. I got shot at. Uh, I think that's a night trader. There. There's a base up there though. Oh no. Wait, he's shooting me from this side? I don't see him. I have no idea where he is actually. Oh, zombies. I think he's pushing me then. Yeah, he has to be pushing. Yeah, he's pushing me. I hear him. And I'm dead. Yeah, he pushed with the, uh, it's that villain guy. He pushed me with a PDW and I lost my only weapon. But now we know that there's a full geared at military running around with a night trader and the PDW. So if we do manage to kill him, then that's going to be very profit. Well, heartbreak already. That's pretty good. Right, so Nicole has a chainsaw that, so we could actually like farm XP with that. I could just chop down a bunch of trees. Uh, with it, I could get myself like nine XP per tree, and that that's quite a ton already. So for the next couple of minutes, I'm going to get myself max exercise, max card and maybe a bit of sharpshooter the most important ones are are those two i also need to do a bet because i can't really spawn back in my old base over there i don't really have any weapons anyway but at least i would be closer me and nicole both farmed a ton of xp we both have maxed out cardio and exercise so now we should a be able to move quicker i'm gonna loot seattle maybe i'll get ourselves some more ammo maybe some attachments looks like military is pretty much looted so somebody must be very close sport shot these might be the guys that looted seattle then yeah one guy dead to that. Looks like they have some clothes. You guys don't even really have anything good. Alright, so if the guy is still in military, he definitely heard us, so we have to be very sure. Looks like there's absolutely nobody in military though, but pretty much looted. Oh, there's a grenade over here, some ammo, and a muzzle. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna get as much clothes as possible, salvage them, and make beds. Right, there's a guy in there. Right, he's dead. I don't think it's an H right there guy. Oh, he's geared though. Night vision, some rock explosive. Nicole could take the heartbreaker as well. Now we both have one. I right, got myself a 7x scope as well. I'm right, gonna take everything, literally, even this metal. Because if I get crafting three, I could make lockers. And I am back in base. Time to depot everything that we've got. I'm gonna put this night vision in here as well. Yeah, we've got two beds, and now we could go and load. Wait. Wait, he's right over there. Uh, I think this is the geared guy then. You probably heard me shooting at Heritage. I, d I don't know where he is. I circled all around. I think this is his base or something. Well, if it is his base, he's, he's not coming out. I might as well just go loot military. When Nicole stays here, make sure he doesn't push out. I've looted military, got myself a peacemaker and a 16x scope. And I'm gonna go back. There's a guy up here. I don't know if he saw me. Yeah, he definitely did. I'm dead. I think Nicole killed him. There's a lot of night trader shots. I think he killed Nicole. I think this guy in this base killed Nicole. And I'm going back naked. I don't have a single gun. Yeah, she's dead. Oh no, we just lost everything again, I think. He pushed out when she was looting him. Oh, there he is. He's literally... Dude, if I had a gun right now... Uh, maybe he has a gun on the floor or something. He left it there and I could kill him with it. Literally, even Amelia would do at this point. His back is literally turned... Please don't turn around. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, he's fully geared. This is the Night Trader guy. I got three Heartbreakers. So much stuff, so much load. Let me switch to Night Trader quickly. A bunch of ammo, a bunch of meds. Oh, that's why you should always pick up guns on the floor, man. All right, let's take everything and run back to base. Yeah, I've got pretty much everything that's important. And now we'll run away. 
and I am back in base from literally nothing to just a saber tooth on the floor and I've got all of this loot. Now I'm gonna salvage this door because Nicole can't actually open it because I built it in a separate group. That was actually insane. We need to make ourselves a bunch of more storage because I have no more space in here. For myself so much guns, at least back full thief. We're gonna get as, bu as much logs as possible, make them into crate. Because I'm kind of scared that he's gonna find out where we live. And judging by his kind of load, and if that is his actual base, then I'm gonna think that he has a ton of raiding gear. And if he finds us where we live, we're gonna lose everything. Then we'll literally have to move instantly before he comes with raiding gear. But right now, since he doesn't know, we could kill him a couple of times until he figures this out. And at the same time, we'll get a bunch of his load. Get ourselves a bunch of crates. We're gonna put extra guns in there. Extra ammo. Anything that I don't wanna lose. I'm not gonna run around with the night trader either. Very rare weapon on this map and i'm even gonna put my clothes in here i'm gonna put the full thief in here but i'm just gonna run around with a desert military shirt if i do manage to kill him i'll take his clothes so i'm gonna take the saber tooth with me as well saber tooth is a very very op weapon in my opinion so i'm gonna take it with me if i see him far range i'm gonna suit i'm gonna use the saber tooth i think i saw something when i was walking towards here but i'm not sure though oh yeah he is there yeah same guy same cosmetics and he is dead. He was talking in the game chat. He was saying like, come military, noobs, all of that. And so Nicole's gonna give me cover while I loot him. Just in case he spawns back at base and tries to come back from behind us. But he has some clothes. A saber suit and a PDW. Perfect. Now take his clothes. He has a bunch of metal as well. All right, we got another fully decked out saber suit. I'm already full of loot so we could go back and depot. Made myself some more storage. We can put both of the saber suits in here. PDW as well. Oh, it's starting to look pretty good though. It's starting to do a very nice Rex Riches on a full vanilla server. Wait, there's somebody outside. I think he... Hello, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. That is him. He found our base. All right, Nicole got him. Good, good. Nice. As soon as I spawn, we're gonna take everything and leave. I am 100% sure this guy has a ton of raiding gear. Our base is a two by one, and he knows where we live. So staying here would be very stupid. And go build a base somewhere else. All right, time to take everything. Literally everything. We'll keep one of the beds here, probably. We pretty much got everything. Hopefully he doesn't see us run away, because if he does, he's gonna assume that we're leaving with all of the load. Oh, there's a car. Wait, is he dead? I think they're dead. There are two people in it for sure. Let's go check out what loot they have. Nicole should stay up there and cover me. I don't have any space actually. Some raw. He has a bed as well. Heartbreaker. A bunch of junk we don't really need though. There's a bunch of food. He has a hawk on the viper. Oh, there's a base here and... Oh, this could actually be perfect. We just need one door. One door and then we could make a one by one over here to shut off this wooden door. Yeah, we're gonna take this over for now. And there we go. We've made a one by one. And then over there we'll place ourselves a metal door. We could place our beds in here. Since it is a full moon, I'm going to assume that there are people farming at military. So I think it would be a pretty good idea to go there and try to kill whoever it is. Yeah, he's literally over there. And he is dead. The guy is kind of stupid though. He's running around uh, with his glowing cosmetics. And looks like he has Spec Ops, uh, his fully decked out the back, a drum, a bunch of ammo, Spec Ops rucksack as well. Got a full drum, really happy with that. We could also go check the 2 by one actually to see if he managed to raid it. Dead. This guy is telling me to go 1v1 him. Lol. Alright, he had a fully decked out heartbreaker. Back in base, depoted everything. Got a bunch of extra guns from this run, so I'm really happy with that. Right, right there. Alright, he's dead. Let's go check out what loot he had. Okay, Maple Strike PTW, and I'll run back to base. I've also upgraded the base, I'm gonna make it a 2x2. Two two. Okay, so next, we can actually go and raid a small base, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself a bunch of storage before, and then once we do that, we're gonna go and try to find a small raid. So it looks like I did find myself a 1x2 base wood, so it's not gonna take us that much. But we are through, looks like there's just one wardrobe. Wait, oh my god, they had the RPG detonator. All right, well, time to run back to base. I, I did not expect that at all. But yeah, since we did get a detonator, then I can make myself quite a ton of charges. That's actually so insane. Back in base, depot everything. I'm really happy we got the detonator. We can make ourselves quite a ton of charges. Just gotta get myself crafting three. There's a guy in here. I was aiming with the Cobra, he was ready to kill me. Do have quite a ton of charges, and now I'm gonna run around the map, I'm gonna try to find a base to raid. Well, we found a floor base, literally the most obvious floor base I've ever seen. Well, I'm gonna go back, we're gonna go back, get the charges, and we'll return and raid this base. And yeah, we are through. Looks like we got our two elite specs already. There's nothing there. This one's empty. Two shadow stalkers. Another shadow stalker. Fully decked out heartbreaker. A bunch of junk. Saber toad. Empty dragon thing. Another dragon thing. What? Alright, so we're gonna damage this locker. And then we'll come back. 
Looks like the actual base also got traded so we could check what's inside. Looks like there's a bunch of wardrobes actually. Yeah, looks like a bunch of junk, a bunch of random ammo, chemicals, some bulldog ammo. Oh, okay, this one has a lot of chemicals actually. Right, we are back. Looks like it had a grenade. Probably all of the load glitched up actually. Yeah, it did. Looks like a bunch of glue and a bunch of grenades. That's actually really, really good. Alright everybody, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you guys want more Vanilla videos, let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!